Okay, earlier we calibrated these things perfectly. This LED is a little bright. We're going to tone that down before we actually release this. So we're looking at 15.8 volts, 15.8 volts, 15.9 volts on your old favorite meter. And of course I got a 14 volt battery and a 14 volt excess power charger. What is the reason why the VM1 is better than your typical digital readout like this right here? I mean some people will say this is exact and this one has a slight gap in between the numbers. So well, where's the benefit in that? The thing is there might be a slight gap in the numbers but it's, since it's analog it's real time response so any kind of dip in the voltage even for the smallest time will be you'll be able to see it on there because it'll it's able to respond quick enough. On a digital you could make it respond quick enough but none of the manufacturers ever do because if they did you wouldn't be able to read it. It would be like trying to watch the numbers on a gas pump. You wouldn't be able to see it. So on this one it's a graphical representation. You can see all those. So when we turn up this beat this thing is going to dip down low and this is going to be able to catch how low it's going but by the time this thing wants to read how low it is it's already back up and it's not quick enough to show you exactly how low it went sort of that's it that's <laughs> totally it all right man well let's go ahead and turn some beat on and see which one of these is faster which one of these is actually more accurate it seems like when they're sitting still they're probably not going to be too much different except for this one will still be working after two years and this one was going to be reading backwards c's instead of zeros if at all so all right let's do this and send it over here. Yeah. Fly it over here. Uh, <laughs> I saw this thing dip down near 12.8 or so. Never once saw this thing dip down to 12.8. If you ask me, that says it all right there. That's it. So everybody that's talking about how accurate their digital meter is, that says it all right there. Yeah. Now sitting still, who knows? It's probably right about the same. But dynamic, no way that, that other one could keep up. So there you have it. All right, I took a couple of screen grabs just to kind of show you what's going on. As you can see, they both started out exactly the same, but as soon as the first bead hits, we got voltage dropped to 13.1. Well, this thing's only at 14.1. It hasn't had no time to react. So here we are back to 14.3, and this thing's still trying to drop, but it's not quick enough. Then the next bead hits, and this thing still hasn't reacted yet. And then here we are down at 12.8. This thing hasn't dropped down to 12.8 at all. Now we're back to 14.3 and uh, this thing's showing 14.0 here we are down to 12.8 it's still at 14.0 and uh, well as you can see the low hold shows that we are at 12.8 
when that meter never once showed that it came down below 13. 